Hello, hello. Good morning. Well, it's morning here anyway, and uh, the HF antenna has come down with this uh, this snow. It's uh, March 6th, 2013, and hopefully this is the last snow of the year. Anyway, so I figured I'd come outside here and uh, take a look at the damages that have been done. And uh, let's see. Here's my, uh, my ladder line that goes up to the loop up here and uh, there's the feed point I'm tangled in this tree over here and uh, I don't know if you can see it too well uh, I can't really see it at all but anyway the loop goes way down out back here it's supposed to be up this corner anyway up there in those trees and doesn't look like we are in the trees at all. Oh, it's cold. About 7.30 in the morning. Ah, okay. We came out of this tree up top here, but it looks like this smaller tree right here caught the... caught the antenna. And it looks like we're just about on the ground. Uh, pulley broke or not the pulley but the uh, the rope holding the pulley broke all right and it looks like we are still up in the trees up there yeah I noticed the SWR a little higher than normal this morning so I, uh, I knew something was up I figured I'd come out here and take a look at what was going on and I'll tell you what, I'm not about to fix the antenna in this weather. Wow. That's a heavy snow. It's waiting way in the trees down there. Yeah, so I think we're gonna wait. I think we're gonna wait for the snow to pass. Wait for it to dry up a little bit. Warm up at least. And then uh We'll come out and get the HF antenna back up and running. March 16th, snow's gone. And uh, I've been out here playing around with this uh, this loop antenna. So we got the uh, the antenna off the ground again. I think we're probably about 40, 45 feet. Maybe even closer to 50 feet off the ground at some points with the antenna. But anyway, after putting the antenna back up, I, uh, I wanted to just do something new. So I attached some more ladder line to what I had uh, bringing the ladder line into the house in uh, the four to one ballon right there at the radio. However, that uh, that threw uh, everything off with the antenna. It performs worse now than it ever has. Uh, so I went into the books and did a little bit of reading about uh, sky wires or larger loop antennas and found that the placement of my feed point is probably not exactly where it should be so having said that I'm going to move the location of the feed point on this antenna to about one quarter wavelength off of the uh, the corner closest to the house which is actually gonna move the feed point farther away from the house but that's gonna be okay I believe because I think the, the feed line I'm, I'm using now is uh, kind of short and uh, even with the extension that I just added to it, it's still short. So I think uh, we're going to do an overhaul, a complete overhaul on this antenna, and we're going to make it one badass 160-meter loop that could be used on other bands uh, without a tuner as well. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, 73s.